What's going on, y'all? Oh, man, I am tired. Ah, my body hurt. It ain't hurting yet. It's going to be hurting in a little in about when I lay down. It's going to be hurting. I don't know who told me to go to the gym for two hours and 30 minutes. Ain't nobody tell me to do that at all. I don't know. I get fixated. When I get going to the gym, I just get fixated and I stand up for a long period of time. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to pay for it later on because I ain't been there since the trainer uh, 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 <laughs> worked me out since the trainer showed me the things to do, the stuff to, to tone my body up. Since I did so, I was sore then. I took two days off. I did a little calisthenics inside of the house, but I didn't go back to the gym. So, yeah, I'm going to be hurting real bad. Real bad, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, how y'all doing today? Happy Thursday. Um, Jenny Campbell, hello. Uh, Lisa Watkins, what's going on, Lisa? Good afternoon. It's, I have, of course, I did, I did the no-no. I went and worked out and I did not eat. All I had was some almonds. I had some almonds and some water. That's all I had. But um, I was fine because I, I really didn't have an appetite. And I didn't want to force myself to eat. Going into the gym, I didn't want to force myself to eat, so I, was, I really wasn't hungry. Um, so I didn't eat. So now I'm now I'm starving, like Marvin. And for to make this um, steak lo mein with vegetables, first off, let me get this into the microwave. Microwave, chef, chef. Microwave, yeah. It's called Smart Eat. And all you do is you steam it in the bag. All you do is pop a hole in it. Put it in the microwave. Five minutes. All right. And so that cut some time off. I made the noodles last night. So look, I, look it was a look. I'm working out at the same time thinking about what I'm gonna eat. <laughs> What's up, Clinton Moore? <laughs> uh, Adrian, Walter, what, what's going on, Andre? Yeah, this, that's a, just, just, just bad, y'all. How you gonna work out in, in, the, in, in, in uh, what, mm, what am I gonna eat? God damn, let me get this last little rep out. Oh, that steak sounds good. Oh, that steak gonna be good. Lord Jesus, gonna be good. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord. So my mom came, they got on the road this morning, came to say their goodbyes. They brought me some um some pork sausage. I told them I have not been eating it, eating pork for a while. I said I don't want to eat it and I get sick. I said I don't want to eat it and I get sick. So I um told them to take it back with them. So they came and picked it up. I froze it for them last night. And I told them to come back and come back and get it because I'm not gonna eat it. And it was good sausage too. It was good sausage. Oh man, it was a good country sausage. Oh, they got it from the country. They went, they stopped down this one, down this, in the country and got that sausage and brought it to me. Oh Lord. Yeah, I, I just didn't want to get sick because I had, I've had um, what you call it in a while. I haven't had pork in a while. Oh, you gonna? I'm not gonna trim too much of the fat off. But I want this piece back here. I'm gonna trim some of that off. I don't want all that fat. Yeah, I had a, it was a two pack ribeye I had, and I got that on. I got that on special too. <laughs> it's only paid for those two big ribeyes. I only paid ten dollars for it, but the price was twenty eight dollars. I only paid ten for it. Don't ask me how to do my Jedi mind tricks, but. <laughs> <laughs> it came to me and I said, yes, I'll gladly take those. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, if you're using a cheaper cut of meat, if you're using a cheaper cut of meat, which this is, of course, it's ribeye, so it's going to be tender. It's going to be tender. It's going to be, you don't have to worry about the tenderness of the meat. Now, if you use a cheaper cut of meat, what you're going to do is... I'm going to make the marinade. I'm going to show you guys um, how to get your meat tender. Um, and it's just add a, a little teaspoon of, or an uh, eighth of a teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon. Depends on how much meat you have. Depends on how much, how much meat you have. If you have more meat than this, do um, you're going to do, uh, for this amount, you're going to do about an eighth of a teaspoon 
of of baking soda. If you have double the size, do a quarter. You know, and thus forth. If you have way more meat, just keep going up. Okay. Um, but baking soda, baking soda tenderizes the meat, and I promise you, you will not you, the meat won't, won't be chewy. I promise you. I promise you. I stand by it. I stand by it. All right, let's season this up. I'm not gonna put any sauce on this. I'm just gonna season this. I got some Chinese five spice. Five spice. I'm gonna season right on my cutting board because I'm gonna wash it anyway. I already cut up the rest of my vegetables if y'all wondering. Like, what you gotta cut the rest of your vegetables? You gotta wash the cutting board again. Nope. I don't have to wash the plate again. So I'm just gonna season right on this cutting board. I already cut up all my vegetables. I waited to cut this up with you all. You already know what I'm using. I'm gonna caramelize on you. And what you're doing is make sure you have your um, I got my walk on or your pan. I'll just have get get your pan nice and hot. Onion powder. Get your pan nice and hot. Garlic powder, of course. And some black pepper. Ooh. That broccoli and spirits must be fun. That thing stank. <laughs> Cassivorous plants give you gas. And of course, we should do some little smacking on there. All right. Okay. Massage that in. We're not going to worry about the sauces yet. Which my sauces is, if you guys never, look, I'm not, I'm advocating for the, they don't pay me. So look, check it. This is very good. If you see this in the orange card, if you're doing your, um, your, um, hibachis and all this stuff, oh, this is good. That's good. Really good. If you never had it before. Have anybody had that before? Really good. Alright. Notice I didn't add any more sodium other than the um other than the caramelized clay, which it doesn't have that much salt in it, but it does have sodium because I am gonna use it. Of course I'm gonna be using um soy sauce. Well I have light soy sauce. And oyster sauce, which it does have sodium content in it. Of course, this has sodium in it as well. So the only thing I used with salt in it was uh, with sodium in it is the uh, caramelized onion from Kenner's. All right, you want to make sure your your um, wok is smoking. Let it smoke, or your pan. Let it smoke just like that. You want it a nice smoke point. All right. Say so, so. I'm. I'm using chuck steak. I'm letting it bake. Yeah, yes, let the baking soda sit on before that before you see or when you season, just let it sit on it. Put a little baking soda. Put a little baking soda. A little baking soda on it. And let it sit. It's gonna tenderize it. It's gonna tenderize it. And, but don't slice it thick like this. Don't you don't, don't do don't do chunks like this. Slice it a little thinner than this, okay? A little thinner than what I have it. Cause it's ribeye. I can do this to ribeye. <laughs> but for that chuck, slice it a little thinner, okay? Uh, Edna Jordan, hello. Vanessa, hey, Nessa, you in here watching me cook some meat? <laughs> How you been, Nessa? Uh, Richard Bryan, what's going on, dude? I'm trying to angle this thing right. Tell you when, what's going on? And the same thing, same principle, don't touch it. Let it let it do what it do. You want to put that brown on there. But I gotta move one of them. I gotta I gotta move this. It's stacked up on top. So let it set. Let it let it cook. Move that one. Let it turn nice and brown. Denise uh, Wood Blanford, hello. 
Tracy Evans. Beef lo mein is the best. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. That's that's why I, I actually what I, I do I, I get all the meat in it. They be like, you know that costs extra money. Just give me all the meat. I ain't asking you it costs any extra money. I know what it costs. I know it's gonna cost some extra money to put the extra meat in there. Give me the scrimps. Give me the chicken and the beef too, and all three of them. Don't be looking at me like that either. Put them all in there. <laughs> Who else be doing that? I get all. I get all three meats, man. Give me all three proteins. <laughs> And back when I used, when I was eating pork, I would put pork in it too. I would give me the, them little real pieces y'all got. Put the little real pieces in there too. It's called the house special. Give me the house special. If you don't bother it, you get nice little brown pieces. Oh, those are good right there. Nice little brown piece. Let's check our best. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, God dang it! I put it on too long. This thing is microwave high power. Don't do what I did. I can't put this in the wood Dang it! My vegetables turned to mush. I put it in there too long. I guess I should have did two minutes. I did five minutes instead of what the package did, but I forgot that's the high powered microwave. God dang it. Don't do what I did. Put it on two minutes. Make sure your microwave ain't high powered. Play us mess up too. Alright, I'm taking my steak out because I don't want mine all chewy. Take my steak out. Take the steak out. Not too, not too. I'm say um, well done. I don't want it well done. That's chewy to me when it's well done. <laughs> Some onions in there. We're gonna turn our heat down. And while our onions are sauteing, let's come on over here. Let's make our sauce real quick. We got some oyster sauce, Use the same bowl. Oyster sauce. I'm gonna clean this out with some, put some water in that and rinse that out, rinse it out. So, you know, oyster sauce. If you can't have seafood, don't buy this because, because it's, yeah, it's got seafood, oyster sauce. It's got oysters in it. It's fermented sauce, but it, it tastes so good. Cause you're gonna need some water anyway, so I get the rest of your sauce out of there. All right. Add some of that Japanese barbecue sauce in there too. Add a little more Chinese fire spice. Some fish sauce. Just a couple drops of this is very strong, but tastes good. Sesame seed oil. Now, if you want to do all this, you could just buy the teriyaki sauce, but it's not going to taste like this, though. I, 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 prom I promise you that much. It's not going to taste like this. And then, last but not least, you're going to add in some low-sodium soy sauce. Sugar before a little bit of nice for my sweets. I'm gonna add some honey. I'm gonna add a little honey in here. Just to balance out all those flavors. And then we're gonna add a little cornstarch.
Let me make sure I have enough oyster sauce in there. I don't think I do. Which I don't. I need a little more oyster sauce in there. <coughs> oh, snap. I gotta put my mirin in there. I need some mirin. I almost forgot to need mirin. A little more oyster sauce. Stay. <coughs> I'm gonna add some rice wine in here, which is mirin. Rice wine, okay? And you can find it in your Asian section, in your, in your grocery, grocery store. All right, now. Okay, let's go back over here. Let's take our onions out. Hold on a second, fix this. I got energy like I don't know what. I feel good, though, y'all. Although I did, did my little workout plan, I did in a two hours some change. I actually feel good. For now. <laughs> like I said, go ahead, put your onions in here. Oh, my God. oh this thing loose. Why is this thing sliding? The clamps are loose. That's why I keep going down like Mary J. Blige. And it's got the thing on phone going down. Thank you, Gilmore. I see you. Let's paint it back hot. Bring over our sauce. Let's get that sauce on in there. Now, of course, you can do less sauce, but I just likes the sauce. And as it cook, if you get a little thick, just add a little, you can add a little more water to it because it's going to get thick. Walk <laughs> <Water>. up. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to let this come to a, to a simmer. And you, know, you can tell it's gonna get thick, 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 because it holds the side of the um on the sides. You can see that the, the um rim was nice and thick. Hey, grandma, are oh, y'all home? Y'all made it home? Cause somebody called me and tell me y'all made it home, or you just watching from the from the road? Which one is it? Hey, grandma. <laughs> Cause I know my mom would have called me, or if somebody would call me and tell me y'all made it to the house. Cause y'all left nine o'clock, y'all should be there. Y'all should be home. Yeah, let's see, that's what time y'all left. It's nine, nine, twelve, one, two. Uh, somebody see no see, nobody see no hearts on the page? Oh, there they go. Somebody put the hearts up. <laughs> go and put my hearts and likes up for me. Thank you, Gil. Go and tell him. Go and tell you. I put some hearts and shelf, some hearts and hearts and likes up for the chef now. He be over there doing his thing, thing, teaching y'all stuff. Y'all give some hearts and likes. Give some interactions now. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little water. Like I said, it's gonna get the th 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 thick, which is fine. It's okay. All right, we're gonna add our pasta in now. And you probably have to go ahead and go ahead and add a little bit more water in again, but it's okay. Because it's not gonna take away from the flavor. Because it's the flavor, all it's doing is condensing down on it. It's not gonna take away from the flavor. That little water is not gonna hurt it. 
Trust me, it's not gonna hurt it. All right, got the cooked pasta. And this is not actual lo mein itself, but it's a form of, it's, it's linguine. <laughs> but um, linguine, which if y'all know, pasta come from China. So the closest form of, that you can get to linguine, uh, so, so to, to, to um, the lo mein noodle itself is linguine. And I like linguine better anyway. Add in my garlic and my minced ginger. I, now I overcooked my vegetables, but that's fine. Like I said, that was my fault. I should have stopped and checked it. I did with the package. That's why you don't read the packaging all the time. But it is this is a high powered microwave. So if you want your sauce a little looser, just go ahead and add in. A little more water, just a little bit. The starch from the pasta is also going to start to release as, <coughs> as it heats up, excuse me, as it starts to heat up, and it's going to put more thickness on it. So that's why I went ahead and just went and had the water to it now as well. Look at that. Mm, it's gonna be good. I'm starving. Oh, I'm starving. I'm so hungry. You don't have to, but I'm gonna brighten this up with. I have, I have some lemongrass. I want to use it up. I'm gonna ask about some lemongrass. Where can you find lemongrass? It's in the refrigerator section. Um, in the produce section. In the produce section. Lemongrass is a nice addition. It, it tastes just like lemon. It's actually a herb, but it tastes like it tastes just like lemon if you guys never had it before. My auntie used to grow it um, fresh in, her, in the garden, so I used to pick pick it, go pick it in the garden. It still grows there now. Matter of fact, the, um, where my um, grandmother's house is at, she, that's where she had the garden at. It still grows there now in the yard without nobody tending to it. It's, it's a low-maintenance plant, and it just grows. It is, Carlina. It's touching my. It's touching that back, <laughs> not back. That back. <laughs> it is. It's touching my back. My stomach touching my back. I'm starving like mom. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Mm. 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 You don't have to, but like I said, I showed you the basics. But y'all don't have to, but I am. Okay. I'm gonna add in some chili flakes. Now, if you don't like spice, don't do it. I like spice. It's gonna help. It's gonna help burn off, burn off some of that, burn off some of the stuff I'm putting in my body. <laughs> only thing, only thing extra I put in my body is, is the pasta. I started to do, I started to do brown, um, bring us do some brown rice, but I said, ah, nah. If somebody uses pasta I made last night. Add the beef and the onions back to it. Add my overcooked vegetables. No, I'm not gonna add it to the sauce. It's gonna mess my sauce up. They are overcooked for real, for real, y'all. I never overcooked a vegetable like this. Wow. And to the point I don't even want to put it in it. I put it on the side. I ain't gonna cook that vegetable. But that's ready. Okay. And then we're gonna add in some green onions. I'm so upset I messed my vegetables up. Overcooked them dang on things. I'm upset. All right, let's put this thing on the plate. Let's be hungry.
I'm just gonna place my vegetables on here. They now we're soaking in the sauce how I want to be soaking in the sauce. It's supposed to get a gravy bath too. They overcooked, they mushy. So the only way I can make it look pretty <laughs> is doing like this. <laughs> I want the things in that gravy bath. You ain't understanding. <laughs> and even the carrots and sauce. So yeah, it's actually a good thing. I just like I said, I, I use a, a high powered uh microwave so it cooked it very fast. Uh, it's supposed to be on five minutes. But it actually looked like it took two minutes to, to get cooked or steamed properly. So I'm just have to do it that way. And it's my plate, so I'm using my fingers. It's my plate. Mine. I'm going to eat this. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> I'm gonna put it back in there. Boom. Ooh, that thing probably had to clean the plate up. What your name is? What your name is? <laughs> Hungry. Let's go. Hey, Annette. Lorraine McCall said, 10, Jeff, 10. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I said, we, we still good. We still good. It still, still look good. The room vegetable was soft as I don't know what. Hold on. Get ready to take it down, boy. She don't answer back, so I guess she, I guess they made it. Um, back. And I like even more spice. I, I like spice. Knees ain't feeling it yet. Oh gosh, yeah. Let's go and see how this thing eats. That's pretty. That's a lot of food. I'm not gonna eat all this though. That's a lot of food. <laughs> this is lunch and dinner. Right, that made it pretty. Gotta be me. <laughs> oh Lord, I'm famished. Don't if y'all see me. Just go in, don't say nothing. Hey, I was watching the news the other day, and there was hopefully um I feel sorry for the families that um that went through those kids killing themselves and stuff because they was depressed um over social media. That's where the bullying and all that stuff come in at, but it was targeted also for people who took pictures of them while naked, whatever, and was getting ready to expose them, like, and then put this this on on these kids' mind, whatever. So that was that was that was horrible. But in this world, the world is horrible. So they're faulting the social media itself. Don't get me wrong, it does have an influence on a lot of things and stuff. But just as you send your child out here in this world, the world is messed up full of just pedophiles and, and, and predators too, just, just as well. 
It's messed up too in this world. It's just not social media. You got the whole world. So just, just like when I was growing up, my parents, they, they let us listen to rap music, but it was certain music they let us listen to and stuff. It wasn't all. Some things we had to sneak and do. You know what I mean? They let us listen to they, NWA. Oh, no. Good thing I had my Big Brother tour, but we couldn't listen to NWA. We, we couldn't listen to that. No, that was not allowed to be played in the house. So as technology goes on, music, like even, even music influences things too as well. Music influence things just as well. You see these kids can, can themselves listen to this music, but it's only affecting the black neighborhoods. So they're not saying anything about it because only the black neighborhoods are affected by this, this, this music that's get, kids are killing themselves and stuff. They're not saying anything about it. <laughs> Richard Bryce on some <laughs> Uncle Luke. What's up, man? That's what they call me sometimes. Two live crew, but um, yeah. You can't just say it's social media. You cannot say it's just social media. You can't just say it's social media. So now, in this technology world that we have, you as a parent, you know what lurks and what dangers are around every single corner. It's not just now, it's not just now, it's just outside, it's into your home because you have this in your hand. You got, you got your phone in your hand. That lets a predator in your house. So, as a parent, you should be uh, uh, more cautious of the things that your kids, or be aware of what your kids are looking at, or the things that your children are doing. Or don't even buy them a phone. However it goes, stuff. The parents also have to step up too. You can't blame the world issues and stuff of the of what happened. It's like it's also on the parents too as well. It's on both sides. You got to be a parent too. You leave your kids out there and stuff, and you just give them a handheld thing. You know what you know what this this machine is capable of. You know what it's capable of, but still you give it to a child, and you don't even pay attention what the, what the child is looking at. Yeah, you at fault too. Not just the social media. The world, you're at fault for not parenting. And that's my take on that. Well, how y'all feel about it? Mm, I didn't have to. How do y'all feel about that? Vicky Spencer. The music is toxic, television toxic, everything toxic. Can't trust pe preachers. Can't depend on parents to do. You, you, Vicky. I was trying to tell you. You gotta. You, the parents. You gotta come in. You gotta step up too as well. You gotta know what the baby's looking at. And you, at the same time, you should, you should know your child. Like pay attention. Pay attention. Like it's, these days, I'm mean, please pay attention to your children. These wolves. They come in them sheep clothing and these phones, lure them kids in and stuff. And, and like I said, it's, it's very sad. But sitting there looking at that hearing yesterday, I'm sitting there looking at it like, damn, they going on going in on, on Zuckerberg like he a little child or whatever. Like they, they talk to this man like, you would, look, it's your fault, it's your third stuff. But, but <clears throat> at the same time, like, what are the parents doing? What, y'all didn't pay attention to your child? That's 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 just how I how I how I see it. It was, just wasn't the social media. It was also the parents' fault too. Carolyn said, "We need to go back to the old days." Mm-hmm. Whooping ass. <laughs> Call the police on who? On what? I wish you would call the police. Down, 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 Hmm. Chef Four said true. Dina on um, Vince said amen. Yeah, I, I swear, I like, I wish I was in that courtroom 
and I was the, I was the, I was a, the um the CEO of Facebook. And you talking to me like I'm a sucker, MCL talking to me like you're a real sucker. Like we two grown people, we grown. I don't care if you try to make your put, put your point across. You even talk to me like I'm a sucker. Nah, man. You even talk to me like that. We two grown men up here. He talked to that man here like he was a straight sucker. Well, I understand that the, the situation was touchy with him, but no, nah, don't get a hearing, and we're going to talk like two adults. That man talked to him like he was a straight sucker. Y'all didn't see this? Y'all didn't see it? Donna Brown says, I agree the old talk to some things. Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all gotta go back and look at that. Sharon Ford. Sharon Ford, you need to go back and look at that, that hearing. Like I said, I, I understand the, the demographics and the severity of it because of social media. And there's some kids killed themselves. I understand the severity. Like I said, but you ain't gonna talk to me like I'm a sucker. I'm a whole, like I said, I'm a whole billionaire out here. You two, who you talking to? <laughs> you talking to me like a man. Um, Dina Brown, hello. Mm. Well, how y'all feel about that, though? <laughs> Richard Bryant. Said, but today's now one cops. <laughs> I'm not cops. <laughs> they not. They not. It's different. It's different. And you don't only have, like I said, on oh, Vicky. It's, it's, just, it's also TV, television, the music. Like I said to y'all, the other like last time we sat and had a conversation like this. It was, um, what's the name of the thing we're talking about? Um, um, reality TV. Reality TV kicked it off. <coughs> Giving you false hope, false dreams and stuff. Reality TV ain't reality. It's, it's scripted. Why you think when, when Hollywood shut down, everything shut down? When a writer shut, shut down, all the reality shows shut down too because it ain't reality. Because they need those writers too. <laughs> it ain't reality. And so I, I you know I found it out from Mumba D. That was back in the day. When the first day started coming on, loving hip hop. They make situations, they put you in, they corner you. If, you, if they know you got a little smaller issue with somebody, they corner you. The writers make a scenario, have an event, invite you and the other person you got a problem with. Put alcohol into the mix. Now you in your feelings. Get somebody else to come in there. Cause what's some stuff in the ear? They all said, went to the other person to talk to them about. What's was inside their ear? Now what you got? You got a situation. You got a fight on TV and, and people looking stupid. <laughs> and everybody lapping it up. It's all scripted. They're giving these false things to, to everybody. Because <laughs> like I said, situations don't happen like that. Situations don't never happen like that. Oh well, yeah, I just find it I find it real sad that when kids have lost their lives and stuff. People bullying people. Social media. Crazy. There's a glare on his phone because outside. That's why I keep really squinting my eyes. What'd you say, um, Lizette? Brendan said people are not at fault. Not social media. Social media is just an, an empty vehicle that people feel with, with good or bad. You're right about that, 100%. You're right about that. It's up to... It's, and, but like I said, what's sad is, like you see, I'm in, I, right, right, right now, 
I got 150, 151 people inside the room watching, right? And I'm talking about this. Now, let me say, man, who is that? Da, 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 da. Who is that? Da, 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 da. Fussing and going, fighting and stuff. And this is the third star. I, I bet you won't. I bet you won't. Be going all crazy and stuff. Them numbers will shoot up there. Them numbers will shoot up. It'll be 2,000, 2,000, 3,000 people inside the room watching before you know it. Because people like drama. Drama sells. And so what the algorithm does is, what the algorithm does, it puts people, uh, uh, um, when you're acting crazy and stuff, they want you to watch it because guess what? Guess how social media now, social media is at fault because they get paid off the ads. They get paid just as much as we get paid. So, excuse me. So just imagine, well, I have to imagine if they give me a certain amount on, you know, which is really not a lot, but imagine what they're getting paid. Like on video, like this will probably make like $18, honestly. $18. And this number's too low, might be $12. Might be $12. On this video I just made right now, probably be like $12. Ads and all, right? But if I get in there and stir up some drum and, and hit them, hit, what you call it? And you up to four, five thousand, what you call it? Oh, you can pay like two, three thousand dollars off of a video. And everybody see the interacting stuff? Oh, you get paid. You get paid. And you, they're going to act stupid for a reason. They're going to act crazy. They're going to keep on acting crazy. Because y'all see they're lapping up. Let the thing get the 10,000 um, viewers in there watching. Oh, they get a nice check. Oh, that check nice. But people like drama. So social media has to get paid. So they send the algorithm of all the drama and everything stuff to everybody else because they're getting paid. Wait, if they're paying the people that much, imagine what they're getting paid. <laughs> And I just I look at it that, that, that um, I look at it that way. Like I said, let me be on here hooping and hollering. Boy, them numbers gonna shoot up. <laughs> let me have something not positive to talk about, something negative to talk about. Boy, <laughs> them numbers be up there. <laughs> I was looking back at some videos from back in the day when me and Chase was. Going through it. And I wasn't really saying, I wasn't saying nothing. I just got on that one time and said something. But I wasn't saying nothing. People waiting. They were sitting there waiting for me to say something. Here it is. I got 167,000 followers. I only got 170, 107 people inside the room watching. I had 4,000 people. I had 4,000 followers. But I had 5.4 thousand people watching me. 5.4 thousand people watching wait for me to snap back off and go, on, go off on trees. Every day. Every single day. My views, it was 100, 143,000. 143,000. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'm like, what the hell? It's crazy because I have no drummer. I ain't got no drummer. But people was waiting for me to fire back at trees. They was waiting for it. 4,500 people in my room watching to, for me to fire back at trees. And I wouldn't give it to him. And I didn't give it to him. <laughs> I could have got paid. No matter of fact, I wasn't even monetized. So I wouldn't even got paid for that. But, yeah. It's crazy. Like I said, I had, I had, I had 4,000 followers back there. 4,000. 4,000 followers. Two years ago, 4,000 followers. <laughs> That's crazy. I got 100, 167,000. I only got 100, 166,000 people inside the room watching. Crazy, ain't eh? I guess social media say I'm born. <laughs> Cynthia uh, Griffin, um, thank you for the stars. Lorraine um, McCall, no, I don't have no children. I had a lot of God kids, nieces and nephews, not yet. I have no children yet. Soon, soon come. When I when I finish building my empire, I'm gonna have some. I want to get my children the same life, the same childhood I have. If I can't get my children the same childhood I have, I want to get. I'm not gonna bring kids into this world. I had a good childhood. And I want to get my kids the same thing I had and more. I can't be long. Like I said, we're still trying to. 
to get the right niche to build what I'm building. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to neglect my child. I don't want to neglect my children. I want to have free range in order to be able to take care of them right, to watch them. <laughs> like, um, most of these parents now, they can't watch the kids because they got to work. Bills too high. Everything high. Got to still work. Can't watch children properly. I mean, that's what's going on because the parents at work all day long. I just thought about that. <laughs> maybe, why, maybe that's another reason why them kids um, was not watch because parents got to work too much. Parents got to work with too much. People get thrown out of their house. They'll show this thing. Like, Y'all see the news in every state. Y'all don't see the news in every state and stuff. But see, by me being here in Central Florida, I get news from Miami, Daytona, Jacksonville, Tampa, Orlando. I see all the news from all the cities, <coughs> surrounding cities of Central Florida. <coughs> Excuse me. And the discussion is talking about how a lot of people get evicted and throw it out because they can't afford it. The cost of living in Miami is, is extremely high. I know that it was it was it was high when we was growing up, so I can imagine what the what it's like down there now. Like my brother, my brother staying in excuse me, my brother stay in Buckhead, Atlanta, for a two bedroom overlooking the city in Buckhead. If you guys are familiar with Buckhead, Atlanta, you know it's a very nice area. It's downtown. It's the um, nice plate, nice spot. Of it's above downtown, of um, because you know you got Midtown, you know you got Midtown, downtown, Buckhead. That's how it go. Midtown, downtown, Buckhead. Buckhead is above downtown, and um, it's a very nice, nice, nice area. Yeah, that fool playing got dang on thirty two hundred dollars a month <laughs> for a two bedroom. So I can imagine the cost of living in Miami is. I can imagine. Down on the water? <laughs> it's probably like New York prices. So a lot of people are getting evicted and stuff. I don't know. It's crazy. Crazy as I don't know what. That cost of living going up. And nobody's is here in Florida. What what's the um what's the pay? For McDonald's, do anybody know to pay for McDonald's in y'all city? So here in Tampa, I seen a billboard like um, McDonald's hiring like crazy. I seen the billboard fifteen dollars an hour outside of McDonald's here. Fifteen dollars an hour. I looked, said, "Man, McDonald's fifteen dollars an hour." What you got to think about the cost of living? That ain't nothing. Back then, you know, back then, back in the in the nineties, oh, that's a good job. <laughs> that was a good job. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all do a real good job. We make fifteen dollars now. <laughs> fifteen dollars now? <an> what? <laughs> that ain't nothing. <laughs> That's not nothing. <laughs> what am I gonna do with this? What am I gonna do with this? I hate to go outside. No, I hate to go outside. Every time I go outside, I spend three hundred dollars. Every time I go out, just do. <laughs> I try to refrain from it. Every time I go out this door, like, dang. I, mean, I need to be allergic to outside. I need, I need to be allergic. I want, I want to go outside. What do you want to say? I want to go outside. <laughs> I want to spend money. I want to go outside. <laughs> I want to go outside. <laughs> I know somebody else feel that way, too. We don't want to go outside. I know y'all feel the same way, right? Who want to go outside? Y'all want to go outside? <laughs> I want to go outside. I want to say endos. <laughs> <laughs> same. 
It's scary out there. Real scary. <laughs> Where you at? Oh, uh, Paul Tyler. Oh, no. Nah, he's, he's in there. Paul? I got to delete Paul. Audrey Morse, 100%. I think I'm, I'm thinking way down here. Uh, Cynthia Griffin, thank you for the stars. Um, oh, he ain't harassing people. I'm going to skip past him. What up, Kendra Jones? Pearl Hart, what's up? Carolyn Be Belklish? I can't really see it that, so there's a glare on it. it. Said California 2 is $2,300 for a one bedroom. One bedroom? What you gonna do with that? What you buy yourself? Yeah, L.A. already got a homeless problem. L.A. already got a homeless problem. I've been in L.A. I was like, wow. 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 Damn. It's like D.C. When I was in the eighth grade, went to Washington, D.C. First time we sang on the Capitol Steps. The choir. Chorus, whatever. Um, but for the single capital steps. So we get down there. We also, we also went to the Smithsonian Museum. We went over did the tour stuff. Went to see the monuments and all that stuff. We got to the White House. When we got to the White House, first off, the White House ain't white. Beige. <laughs> that thing dingy. And if you paint it over. <laughs> so that thing ain't white. <laughs> it looked white on TV. Um, but around the perimeter of the White House, on the front on the front step, it was the eye, it was an eye opener for me. Um, in eighth grade, so you know you seeing you in the prestigious place, you in the land of the free, you in the White House, you in the in the nation's capital where the president see he sees everything and stuff. He's like he's the god of of of, of America, right? The god of America, he oversees everything, and right at his, at the front door of the White House, around that black gate, they don't show. Around it, they show the inside. They don't show the outside. But I don't know how it is now. I've been, I've been there, but I didn't go by the. Uh, I haven't gone by the, by the um, White House. But I tell you, homeless all surrounded the whole outside. I'm in eighth grade, and I had questions. I had questions. Why are these people homeless outside of the White House? Why they? Why the president ain't doing nothing? Why the president ain't doing nothing? That's crazy. That was crazy for me to see that. Eighth grade. I was in eighth grade. And the homeless people, like I said, tents, tent city, right there on the front house lawn. Front of lawn. That was crazy. They won't do that now because, of course, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you can't do that now because of uh, uh, social media. <laughs> That's one thing social media do, did change. Well, you're going to get out of it, out you. But the whole thing about out out things, out the right stuff. Don't out the wrong things. They out the wrong stuff. Some things, you, they make people's brains go crazy and stuff. Don't do that. Out the, out the, if you want to out some, out the right stuff. Don't out the wrong stuff. It's just for, for a view. Don't out the right stuff for a view or attention. That's wrong. Out the stuff that, that's going to impact, that's going to impact the, the world or impact a community. Imp do those out those things. Don't out stuff that's just going to just tear down one person and just for, for everybody else to get laughs and stuff. That's just wrong. That's bullying. And that's not cool. That ain't cool at all. Wrong. Well, back to the homelessness. So LA, all the stars are at. The same thing too. Just imagine all these stars have all these millions and millions and millions of dollars, millions of dollars, millions of dollars, all of them, all the multimillionaires. Everybody, LA, everybody multimillionaires, billionaires, everybody out there, everybody in over in LA, multimillionaire billionaires. They write about it every single day. No, no, it's not their fault that these people are homeless. Not 100%, it's not their fault. But you would think that, they, that when they advocate this third stuff, they're ready to save a dang old dog. Or throw throw paint on your clothes stuff for wearing fur and stuff like that. But you know what I mean? We love our fur babies and everything stuff too. But at the same time, like they put up 
commercial on there for the arms of the angel for, for a dog and stuff, but the arms of the angel, but what about this human being? What about these human beings? Easy find something for them to do. Some of them be out there trying to work with them. Some some people just had a heart and then they couldn't couldn't make it. Got a grips of life. They couldn't make it. You know? Life is hard. It's rough out here. Sometimes life gets the best of you. It's not, it's not, not to judge them, you know what I mean? But if y'all got all these millions and stuff, y'all can easily put together a program to stop the homelessness. With it. But they don't, y'all don't want to do it. Y'all go way to other countries trying to save people over there. But you can probably the promise lies here in the United States. Mm. Well, we, just be my thoughts, y'all. Y'all be, be wanting to know, know what's going on Chef Head? Just be going on, going on in my head. I'm sitting here looking at this world. This world crazy. These folks crazy, boy. I swear to God, these people crazy. <laughs> I think about cooking, but I also think about this world. This world is crazy. It's messed up. That really um ticked me. That really put a, a little tick in me yesterday. Watching how they was talking to Zuckerberg like that. These politicians. Y'all sitting there talking, talking. To what, what y'all doing? There's other things y'all could be doing. What y'all doing? I ain't doing nothing. Y'all only after that man because that man got money like that. So that's, <laughs> y'all ain't doing nothing. Nothing. Y'all ain't doing nothing. Ain't doing nothing to make America better. All y'all trying to do is to divide it, cause confusion, and do things for the camera. That's all you try to do. They talk, man. That, that was crazy. They put a little tick. They put a tick in me because it's like. What are y'all doing? Mm. Uh, Carlina Black Backlist says, Cali, $15 for what? Lucy Noel said, $3,000 for a two-bedroom in Jersey. All on, in Jersey, New York, just hang it up. You finna get a closet. <laughs> that been like that says... In the 1990s. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> New York has. <laughs> I had to look up. Richard Bryce said, yeah, my sister Stan, Stan Petrie City is crazy high. Mm-hmm. Carolyn, um, back, um, I can't see her later. Is that... Baka, Blaka, I can't see what that is. It's, just, it's a letter that I can't see it. But Carolyn, I know what you're talking about. Carolyn, you know what I'm talking to. Uh, said, do the KKK still walk y'all streets? Oh, <laughs> um, they did in Atlanta. They walked the streets. Um, when um, it was Bush and Gore. Matter of fact, that was my. <clears throat> first time voting. I was 22 years old. 22 or 21 years old. Bush and Gore. Uh, it's storming rain, election night. Storm rain. And so it's around about, it's around about 6 o'clock. The line's long. Long as I don't know what. So we, the ballots, we had to do the ballots at a, a, um, at, a, at a middle school. So we was waiting in the line for the storm rain. So they, they diverted us to, to from the gym, which is the cover, from the gymnasium around back to the front uh, front part of the um, school. Mm-hmm. So nobody would get wet with them. But we kept hearing commotion in the front. Kept hearing commotion in the front. Like we couldn't see because we was around the corner. But by the time we got to the front, they wasn't marching. They was in um, pickup trucks. They was in pickup trucks. They had the um, KKK uh, uh, banner. They had, um, they had, um, the Confederate flags, whole line of trucks, pickup trucks, four pickup trucks, lined up. And I'm like, I'm off from Miami at the Georgia Sound. I only been in Georgia for two years. I only had been in Georgia for two years. And I'm sitting looking like, what the hell is going on? Man, this is crazy. But this, this, it was um, 2000, 2022? 22? 04. At Barone. It's 24. So the election was 04. Gore, whatever year Gore and Bush was uh, running for president, 
whatever year it was. Don't get me wrong. Um, on the days I know it's two thousand four, two thousand two, some one of them, one of them years. Um, so as we, the line steady moving, they 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 roll back around, they roll back around, they they stop. They ain't care. They was in the in, in pouring rain. They pulled up, they lined up in front of the which in front of the um the school. Uh, niggers get out of line. Your vote don't matter anyway, niggers. Your vote don't matter anyway. Get out of line, niggers. And they rolled off. They, uh, they rolled again. They kept right back and forth until the till, till cops came. The cops came, and they really didn't do nothing. <laughs> the cops didn't do anything. <laughs> and this is, like I said, this is my 20s. This is, this is still in the two, this 2004 to 2002, for, in that time frame. Yeah. So I've seen it. <laughs> happen in my lifetime and you think that you wouldn't see it in your lifetime but I've seen it in my lifetime <laughs> I don't know about now but I'm pretty sure some parts of this in, in some parts of this of these states of these United States you will see it <laughs> some part Aubrey Moore said, average rent in Houston for one bedroom is $1,200 a month. Oh, it's going to keep going up in Houston because they keep on talking about everybody moving to Houston. It's going to go up. <laughs> Sarah Ford said, I hate outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it costs. It costs us. It costs to go outside. Oh, man. Yeah. I, I, I didn't eat it all. I'm still chat with y'all. I still got a nice little bit on the plate. But y'all know I'm pretty ready. My body wearing down now. My adrenaline is down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all can tell. <laughs> I'm going down like Mary J. Blige said. Going down. Mm. Nice. Pretty good lunch, though. It also could be a nice, uh, even better dinner. No. Try that out. I'm going to get these sweaty clothes. I sad, y'all. All right, so love you guys. Thank you guys for coming on. Thank you guys for having a conversation. <laughs> I'll go back and read the comments if I miss the comments. I'll go back and read the comments. Hey, um, Brenda Buns. Hey, Betty Laws. Hey, y'all. I used to see y'all in here. Captain uh, Fellows, thank you for the stars. Constance. Hey, Auntie. Thank you for the stars. Jay Fairvon. I say they walk in suits now. You got that right. <laughs> suits and and some that have badges too as well. <laughs> they walk in all those and judges. <laughs> they everywhere. They just cover themselves up. That's all. <laughs> and so George said, said, Texas is full. Don't move here. <laughs> Devil Jackson, I'm not going to go sleep. Mm, can't go to sleep um, on this food. I'm uh, I gotta clean the kitchen up and clean the kitchen up, and um, I got some clothes to fold up. So I, I have things to be busy because you know tonight is karaoke night. So I'll be up. I'm not gonna go to sleep. If I go to sleep, I'll be tired, and then, then I'll be up all night long. I'm not tired. I'll be. I'll get the rest, and then I'll be up all night long after I come from come from the uh, lounge tonight. So I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to go with night night. Uh, Marion and Frank, hey. Richard Bryan say they still sitting up on the governor's. Um, oh, oh, yeah, in Atlanta? <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy. You, you best believe it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, thank you guys for the stars. Thank you guys for the likes. Thank you guys for, likes, you guys for coming on. It, it was a nice, very nice conversation. Um, I got to do like put my viewpoints and stuff that I have inside of this. Of this world and no I mean of, of or of our community it's just 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 so we can open our brains up like this is really some real food for thought because we have to think about a lot of things that that's transpiring around us stuff and you and like i said you can't fault you can't fault social media for it, it entirely you gotta fault your parents you gotta fault your parents too watch your, watch your children watch your babies watch your children pay attention to them don't let them be on their phone all day watch your children watch all this Cause it's a mean, cold world out here. I tell you all day long. Behold, I send you out a sheep amidst the wolves, and the wolves enter your house with their phone every day. 
So be careful. All right. I love y'all. I'll see you guys later on. Y'all have a blessed day. All right. Peace. <laughs>